Hello there, theater lovers. My name is Mark Landon Smith of Arts Life Theater, Northwest Arkansas's dedicated children's and youth theater company, where we've been putting young artists center stage for 36 years. You can check out all the great opportunities we have for you to be involved in theater virtually at artslifetheater.com. You can also check out our YouTube channel where you can watch all of your favorite Arts Life Theater shows. In this episode, we're going to be chatting with professional actor and producer and Arts Life Theater teaching artist, Cassie Self. We're also going to be taking a look at some submissions that you guys have sent us. Please keep sending those to virtualalt2020 at gmail.com. We'd love to feature them on this show and also on our virtual theater project. And uh, we got lots more coming up, so stay tuned. Throughout this region, we are very fortunate to have so many wonderful professional actors. And we got a chance to sit down with one, so let's talk with Cassie Self. I'm here with Cassie Self. She is an actor, she is a writer, she is a teaching artist, and a producer. She's been working in the industry professionally for a long time, and we are excited to have her with us as our guest on Curtain Up as we engage and speak with professional industry professionals. Welcome, Cassie. Thank you. It's fun to get to see your face, Mark. It's nice to see your face, too. Um, <laughs> just tell us about how you got started in, you first were, you first started acting, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yes, I, um, it goes way back. I did get my degree in college uh, in drama, so worked in a lot of different departments there and coming out of um, school as becoming a mom as well, did a lot of writing and directing and, and different things, but, but my launch professionally into the film industry was through acting. So what was the thing that surprised you the most when you started doing film that you didn't think about before you started acting? Sure. Uh, as, an, as an actress on stage, it's always putting up that fourth wall and, and living in your own space and creating your world and, and interacting with um, just the characters in that, inside that world with you. With film, I think what was most uh, off-putting at first and kind of disconcerting was you were trying to put up a fourth wall, but you might have a light or a person just standing right off camera. And it was harder to create that intimate space when there's so much right in your face. Right. And that was probably the most surprising. I know when I first started doing film, I was, I, I didn't realize that things were shot out of sequence. So you may come mm -hmm. in day one, shooting your most dramatic scene with your fellow actor that you have just met Yes. No rehearsal. There's no time for rehearsal. <laughs> As an actor, how do you track your, yourself in, in the overall arc of a film, knowing that everything's being shot out of sequence? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pre-work, um, going through the script and really dissecting where my character is at in their journey, um, scene by scene, taking lots of notes for myself, also creating kind of those before moments so that when I am given my sides and yes it's all over the place you might shoot you know beginning and halfway through whatever in the same day and mm -hmm. so having to just recheck my, my my notes and kind of the things that I've, I've prepared in advance because you don't get rehearsal time it's definitely different in that too sometimes you don't even get to run the scene with your partner before they call action it's just here's your blocking and go so the more I can be prepared and also I guess the difference too is you know we always talk about actors as living in the moment when you don't have uh, that pre-work um, with your partner you certainly are challenged to really listen and you know not sacrifice that at all. Now I know that your children have been involved with Arts Live Theater and oh, yes. yeah talk, talk to us about Arts Live. Oh, you know I love Arts Live. Um, my children were involved with Arts Live from the time they were young until um, they left school. Like my daughter is actually studying theater professionally in New York, and I think a lot of that was shaped by her early years getting to perform with Arts Live, and um, she got that bug. She just realized how uh, what a collaborative experience theater is, and 
Kylie was um, in. Um, definitely shaped her, but my boys too. Yeah. Experienced um, many years in arts life. And they may not go into it professionally, but the skills they learned from um, being a part of that, being in front of people, shaping their confidence and their articulation and being able to present in front of people and also teamwork and again, collaboration, it's mm -hmm. gonna help them in their business fields or whatever they choose to go into. Mm -hmm. And they're both about to graduate high school and I'm so grateful for the skills they learned from being in our side. Well, we're grateful for you, and you can catch Cassie in several films. They are on uh, the Netflix. They're on Netflix. Amazon, on the Amazon Prime. Um, the Pure Flix. Huh? The Pure, Pure Flix. Flix. Pure Flix um, they include Sweet Inspirations, which she has the lead, mm -hmm. and, um, Gordon Family Tree, and several others, right? Yeah, Grader's on Netflix right now, too, which is an Arkansas story about Brandon Burlsworth. Yes, so greater an incredible up. life. So I encourage you to check that out. All right. Thank you, Cassie, for being with us. Thank we you, Mark. I can't wait to be back at Arts Live and um, hopefully get to spend some time with these kids. Yes. And uh, Cassie's going to be teaching and acting for camera class. We're going to hook that up virtually for you so you can participate in that. So we look forward to that. All right. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you. You too, dear. Bye. Bye. Another Opportunity Arts Live Theater offering for young actors is the Me Interview You Too series, where young actors interview each other. Last week we had Kayla Henderson and Peyton Lyons. Here's a little sneak peek. Hey, my name is Kayla Henderson. And I'm Peyton Lyons. And welcome to Interviews with ALT Actors. Wait, so, oh, it started. <laughs> oh, wait, it did start, yeah. <laughs> We're so good at this. <laughs> okay, start over. Mark, start over. Cut right. one, yeah. Cut this, cut this. <laughs> That's called take two. Take two. My name is Kayla Henderson. And I'm Peyton Lyons. And welcome to Interviews with ALT Actors. You can see that full interview on the Arts Live Theater YouTube channel where you can also watch past Arts Live Theater productions, see previous episodes of Curtain Up and the Virtual Theater Project, and lots of other great content. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will know when we have new content up. And in our next episode of Me Interview You 2 which will be up next week, we have Arts Live Theater actors Brooke Lang and Sean Thorup interviewing each other. So be sure to check that out. Now who doesn't love trivia? I know I do, especially when it's about theater and film. So I have a few trivia questions for you. See if you can guess these answers. What is the longest running Broadway musical? Is it Phantom of the Opera, The Lion King, or Chicago? The answer is Phantom of the Opera, which to date has had over 13,370 performances. That's a lot of chandeliers. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, what is the highest number of performances one actor has done in the same show? Is it 9,382, 980, or 2,604? The answer is over 9,000. It was an actor who was with Phantom of the Opera for 23 years. That's a lot of chandeliers. And here's a fun theater factoid. The longest running stage show was an opera called The Cycle. It ran for 13 hours. The second is called Nicholas Nickleby, a show which I've actually done, which runs for eight and a half hours. Yeah, bring a water. Hi everybody, it's Jules. It's so good to see you. So I probably know a lot of people who are watching this and I wish I could give you a big virtual hug because I miss you. And if I don't know you, um, I'm Jules Taylor and I'm the Education Director with Arts Life Theater. And I am here today to tell you about, oh, Hamilton, the Hamilton Project. Arts Life Theater has now created the Hamilton Project, which is through our Virtual Theater Academy. Uh, the Hamilton Project is exactly as it says. It's a project. It is an experience that is open to all ages. We're also putting together our an ALT Hamilton mixtape. So I know you want to be part of that. And I hope so much that you will... Uh, join into our project. You do need to register into the project, so please go to um, artslifetheater.com.
hamiltonproject.com and look uh, for the Hamilton Project and that'll help you figure out how to register into that. And as we go forward, I want to be able to add some more things. I had to really stop myself from adding too much because it's, it's amazing how much there is, as you well know. So I'm looking really forward to that. We're so excited to see what happens uh, now that we have a project for all ages. And that includes everybody in the family, all of our alumni. We just would absolutely love to hear from you. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. And remember, Hamilton. Hamilton. There are so many opportunities for you to be involved with Arts Life Theater virtually. Go to artslifetheater.com and check out all of the options. We have the Virtual Theater Academy, Living Room Theater, Picture This Project, The Hamilton Project, lots more. Be sure you check it out. Uh, we also have submissions from young actors from across the region who are acting, singing, and dancing. And we're going to leave you today with one from J.T. Loveless and his sister, Mary. Oh, mm -hmm.